Hello everyone. So there's some of you here and some are on holidays, but for those of you who are here, what is today? Which part of Easter is it? Yeah, and what what do we call today? Good Friday, that's right. So we are going to look at just kind of half the Easter story today, just the bit that happened on the Friday. So I'm going to tell you three things about Good Friday that I want you to remember. And while you're doing the sheets, how are you going to try and remember them? So before Jesus got on the cross, do you know what happened? What he was? Yeah, but he had to carry the cross by himself, didn't he? He was dragging it up to where they were going to put him on the cross. And people were teasing him and yelling at him and they were saying to him, surely if you're the king, this doesn't have to happen. Um, Aren't you? Didn't you say you were really powerful you, like, shouldn't you be able to get off the cross by yourself? And while he was on the cross, they were yelling these things at him as well. And so this is the first thing I want you to remember about Good Friday. When they were yelling those things at him, did they know who they were talking to? No, because he didn't have to stay on the cross. He could have called down a million angels or he could have just got off himself. He has just done, and what we've been reading through, so many amazing things. He has fed 5,000 people with just a tiny amount of food. he There's been a big storm and he's just told it to be still and the storm has gone away. So nails are not what held Jesus to the cross. What held him to the cross was his love for you and for me and for everyone here. So he loved us so much that he stayed on the cross, even though he could have got down because he knew it was the only way for you to be forgiven. So the first thing to remember about Good Friday is that it was love that held Jesus to the cross, not the nails, not anything like that. So when you're doing your sheets, there's one of them that is or will become a picture of Jesus on the cross. So I want you when you're doing this to remember that Jesus stayed on the cross just for you. The second thing to remember is actually about what happened when Jesus was on the cross. And we're going to read that Bible story now and Bernard's going to talk to us about it. But what happened when he was up there and when he died was an amazing thing. The world went dark. There was an earthquake. The the curtain in the temple tore in two. All these incredible things happened around him. And he said, it is finished. So it was a pretty big event. The whole world changed at that point and that's the second thing I want you to remember um, is that when Jesus died everything changed and he said it is finished he had done the job that God had given him to do when he died on the cross so when you're coloring in these crosses um, or when you're doing your Easter word search I want you to remember that that is that was Jesus's job to do and everything changed when he died on the cross Then the third thing to remember is that this isn't the end of the story. They took Jesus' body down off the cross. They put him in a big tomb. They put a huge, enormous stone across the entrance to the tomb. They had soldiers guarding it so that no one could get in or out of that tomb. But that's where we're going to leave the story today and we'll come back and find out what happened next on Sunday. So that's the third thing I want you to remember, that Good Friday is not the end of the story and you need to come back on Sunday to find out what happens next, in case you don't already know. But um, you can think about that. So the third thing I want you to remember is it's not the end of the story. So there's three things to remember while you're doing your sheets. Um, The first thing is that Jesus stayed on the cross just for you and just because he loves you. Uh, The second thing to remember, when Jesus died, everything changed and it was an amazing, incredible moment. Uh, And the third thing to remember is it's not the end. So when you're doing your find a word, there's going to be lots of words about the Easter story and the Easter service. I want you to try and find those words in the Bible if you can and try and work out what they mean. And if there are any that you don't understand, you can talk to your parents or talk to Bernard or talk to me and we can help you understand what they mean. Um, But when you're doing these, remember those three things. Um, Jesus' death was for you and he stayed on the cross just for you. When he died, it changed everything and it's not the end of the story.